All right, now we're going to talk about the uh, laboratory that you see. This is something you typically see in a bathroom. Uh, it could be in a commercial bathroom or a residential bathroom. But the thing that's detailed about the, the laboratory is the drain line system and the P-trap, and then some shutoff valves that are attached to the uh, water supply systems. And then going back to the waistline, what we have is all waste is going down and going up, we see a, uh, a piece of drain line going up. That's actually a vent that allows uh, air to encapsulate inside the waistline and push that waste out. So what we have here to start out with, with the uh, sink here, is we have what we call a tailpiece that comes right out of the sink. Uh, that this is actually your drain. Then what we have here, we have to extend the tailpiece a little bit so we have a tailpiece extension that is then attached to the actual P-trap itself. The P-trap is used for all sinks, kitchen, bath. Uh, P-traps are underneath your showers and bathtubs. They're underneath, P-traps are underneath your floor drains. Any floor drains you have in your basement, you have a P-trap. And the P-trap's purpose is to trap water in here when there, it's no longer draining. So it traps a pocket of water and it stops uh, harmful gases from the sewer lines backing up into your house because the water will stop the gas. And without the gas, you won't have the septic or the sewer smells. So this is real simple. The, what the P traps underneath sinks are slip joints, which means if I was to loosen this fitting up here, like I'm going to do right here, if I was to loosen this up, all the way, this would slide. And what I'll do is disassemble this to show you. We'll pull the trap arm out, and this will slip down off of the pipe, like so. Uh, and they're called slip joints so that we can easily take them apart and repair them, and also so that we can adjust them as we need to. I can turn this P-trap in either direction to make a direct contact with my waistline. Uh, the the P-traps, they assemble really simple. We have the uh, nut up on top that wrenches the washer around the waistline or the uh, drain tailpiece and seals that off so it won't leak when water is draining. Um, so this is just a small portion of the P-trap and they're really simple to put together. And again, that's a slip joint that has a washer and what's going on here is we have inch and a quarter converting to inch and a half. So we need a special ring or washer to fit in there so that we'll join those two together. And when I tighten this down, what happens is this nut squeezes the washer tightly around the pipe, making a good seal. Okay? And it's the same thing with all these slip joints. Again, the assembly piece here, as I put this back together, this is another slip joint and how it slides back up. But when we assemble these, they, they're very simple to adjust, to uh, wrench down, and typically it's hand tightened, and then about a quarter turn should seat that washer around the drain line fairly easily. Uh, another piece to mention here is on the supply lines, again, as we have with the shower valve, we have PEX coming up to a certain point and terminating and converting into copper so that you can put compression shutoff valves on.